Hello friends, today we are going to learn about endangered animals and red data book. In the above listed protected areas, some animals are given high productive preferences. They are endangered animals. So what are endangered animals? The species which have been categorized by IOC and red list as likely to become extinct. Endangered is the second most severe conservation status of wild population in the IUCN scheme of after critically endangered. The IUCN red list features 1102 animals and 1197 plant species as endangered whereas in 2012. The figures were 3079 and 2655 respectively. Endangered Species Act was implemented in 1973. It was designed to protect critically imperiled species from extinction as a consequence of economic growth and development untampered by adequate concern and conservation. So now we will learn about Project Tiger. It is a tiger conservation program launched in 1973 by Government of India during Prime Minister Indira Gandhi's tenure. The project aims at ensuring a viable population of Bengal tigers in their natural habitats and also to protect them from extinction and preserving areas of biological importance as a natural heritage forever represented as close as possible. The diversity of ecosystems across the tiger's distribution in the country. Now, let us discuss what is Red Data Book. Red Data Book of African Federation that is RDBRF also known as Red Book or Russian Red Data Book is a state document established for documenting rare and endangered species of animals, plants and fungi as well as some local subspecies that exist within the territory. There are different red data books for plants and animals, flora book for plants, fauna book for animals. So there are seven different categories in IUCN red data list depending on the availability of animals in a particular area. It is started with LC, least concerned, NT, near threatened, CD, conservation dependent, VU, vulnerable, EN, endangered, CR, critically endangered, EW, extinct in wild and finally EX, extinct. Other categories are DD that is data deficient and NE, not evaluated. So let us now understand what is the importance of red data book. The book provides central information for studies and monitoring programs on rare and endangered species and their habits. It is regularly consulted when developing and implementing special measures for the protection and rehabilitation of such species. Thank you.